Okay, so hello everyone. This is Laksha here and let us continue with the today's GFG Beauty Week. Today's question name is top K frequent elements in array and I would say it is a very good question Not in terms of logic, but in terms of writing the code specifically in Java C++ is very easy Okay, so let's talk about logic. So this question is typically based on um, finding the top or let's say finding the K largest top k largest elements in array right suppose you have been given elements like 20 2 and then 5 6 and 8 and you need to find the top k largest and k here is 2 right so you would definitely say that the largest among them is 8 and 20 right so what could be approaches for this question ko karne ke? specifically to finding the top k largest sabse pehle to kya tha? Ki you can sort the array Right in n log n, and you return the last two indices, last two indices. But this would take you the n log n time complexity. Same thing. Ko priority queue se kaise kar sakte the yar? We need to find the top k largest, right? So we use min heap ka istemal kar sakte, karte the. We use the min heap here, and what do we do? That we push, that we push the k elements, and then if the size of the PQ exceeds k, then we keep on pulling out, right? So what I am saying is that we push the first k elements the k is what 2 so we will push the first two elements and since this is a min heap it would maintain an order of ascending order right it would maintain an ascending order now the next element comes here is 5 right so it, the next com comes 5 so but what exactly it will look like in priority queue min heap 2 5 and 20 it will look like this now this number of elements exceeds the k and we just wanted to return the top two largest right so we will remove the first element we'll remove we'll just say pq.pol and it will ensure that we are removing the smallest element among them so 5 and 20 remains again 6 would be added so 5 20 and 6 how it will look in priority queue it will look like 5 6 and 20 i hope that's visible let me just scroll it through okay again it exceeds the limit of k elements so again i will call pq pq.pol and it will ensure that it, it remove the smallest element and 5 would be removed similarly the next element is 6 right so 6 20 and 8 would be added in the priority queue how it will rearrange 6 8 and 20 again i will call pq.pull because it's exceeding the k elements and 6 would be removed and the final elements that present in the pq would be your answer 8 and 20 8 and 20 you got that right similarly we question to do this to find the top k frequent elements right first we need that which all elements are there and what is its frequency right so for that we will use a map so in the map what it would look like so you will have your key and value pair right key would be one two and three key does not allow duplicacy i hope you know that so what is the frequency of one it is three frequency of two it is two frequency of three it is one so this is what it will look like in a map in an unordered map in c plus plus and hash map in java okay the next step would be that we that we want a min heap okay and the criteria should be the frequencies frequencies should be present in ascending order right and if if frequency are same if frequency are same then uh, then key should be in ascending order then key in ascending order i hope my handwriting is clear here okay so this is our need now in the min heap we want frequency in the ascending order and if the frequency are same then the key should be in ascending order min heap is nothing but that it is ensuring that you have the values present in an order where the frequency started uh, frequency is in order of ascending right so what this particular uh, group of elements or the entries in a map will look like in the priority queue so first of all let us assume that uh, you have pushed the first entry that is 1 comma 3 so in the priority queue it will look like 1 and 3 now when you push the second element the second pair what it would look like uh, you will have 2 comma 2 at top and you will have 1 comma 3 here so we are ensuring that the frequency is present in ascending order we are ensuring that the frequency here is 2 comma 3 present in ascending order right okay now if at this moment if at this moment it's uh, 
crucial to understand if i if i call pq dot poll what would be the return value from this priority queue it would be 2 comma 2 the first one correct okay that's clear now let us assume in adding the last pair that is 3 comma 1 so how the priority queue will arrange itself again it will arrange itself in the frequency of ascending order so the 3 comma 1 would be at the top then 2 comma 2 and then 1 comma 3 you can see the ascending order is maintained in the frequency right now the k given in the question was equals to 2 and clearly the frequency uh, clearly the number of pairs in the priority queue have exceeded k because it has three elements now i will have a for loop we, it will check that if the number of elements if pq dot size is greater than the k then you need to poll you need to call the pq dot poll function so if you call a poll function at this point what would be uh, vanished the 3 comma 1 would be gone right and your updated priority queue elements will have 2 comma 2 and 1 comma 3 right and if you see this is the answer these keys are the answer right so what you need to do is how you need to fill in your answer array so let's say you have an answer of size k right now if you poll if you poll here you will get 2 and then 1 right but question says what does the question say the two numbers are then the largest should be given more preference right okay 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 but in the output the output here is as you can see one comma two and if we keep on polling the elements if you keep on polling the elements you will get two first of all right and then you will get one right so definitely you need to make ensure that you run a for loop from right hand side okay that is not visible i guess from right hand side to left hand side right so that two comes here and one comes here and just return this answer array right let us see one more case let us see one more case where we have the duplicacy where we have the duplicacy of frequency so let's just change something mm, in this question itself i am just zooming out the screen a little bit so let us assume that you have one two one more two extra here right so what would be your map look like the map will look like one has the frequency three two has frequency two no three and three has frequency one right the same thing in the priority queue will look like uh, 3 comma 1 and then these two has the same frequencies right so I need to sort in this ending order so it would be 1 comma 3 and then 2 comma 3 and since k is equals to 2 and there are three elements I will just remove the, the top element that is the peak element uh, that is the topmost element of the priority queue using pq dot poll poll function and you will be remained with this thing and, and you can see for this particular group of elements the answer would be 1 and 2 again because it has the highest frequency 3 and 3 right okay so let us now proceed ahead with the code uh, so before showing the code I highly recommend you to uh, pause this video here now and try, try to code this yourself one more thing I'd like to give you a hint about is that the only complex task in this question is to write this part of code for this you need to have a good understanding of how a comparator works right so again i'm saying for the c++ user it is not at all required uh, uh, whatever we, we will be going to handle using the comparator in java that will be already be handled in c++ by default right so comparator why the comparator was introduced in java so sorting in ascending and descending order is easy you just say uh, collection dot sort you'll get ascending collection dot sort and dot reverse order you get descending right but if you want some custom sorting like this i want my frequencies in ascending order and then if the frequencies are same i want to sort keys in ascending order so that is some custom sorting right for that purpose we have comparator in java right okay so i'll give you a very small glimpse at how comparator works so let's say you have two inst so first of all go through this article right and I will show you that how it uh, what is the what is the thing that you need to remember in the comparator we have a compare function where we pass the two instances right student A and student B it has some properties raw number right if you want to sort in ascending order you just write a dot the property name minus b dot the property name if you want in the descending order just reverse it you say b dot the property name minus a dot the property name to remember it I am just telling you but again if you want to understand how it is actually working it is highly recommended you go through some article on the glg or whichever site you are comfortable with right let us now proceed with the code so we have a map here uh, it's a get or default function very handy for java users you must remember it 
Okay. Then we have a priority queue. Right. Min heap. We need min heap. I have explained you why we need min heap. The max heap would not work here because we want the top k largest and not and we do not want top k minimum, the least one. Right. We want the top k largest. Now a comma b again. We have passed the two instances. Is a custom comparator. Now, what I said. If you if you have passed a comma b and if you say a minus b, it would be in ascending order. Right. So what I am checking if the values. Right. Now a and b is nothing but the entry. The entry of the maps. right in the map you have a key value pair for every key value pair you have a like the priority queue data type is the key value pair and and you and you can get you can iterate in the map using map dot entry specifically i am talking about the java thing right now this a is representing one entry of the map this b is representing the another entry of the map right so in this entry you can access the key with dot key and value with dot get value So so for this instance, I am I am checking if the values are not same of those, right? So I want to sort in the ascending order. So I am saying a dot get value minus b dot get value. Else else means the values are same, right? Now I need to sort it in the key in respect of key. So I am saying a dot get key minus b dot get key, right? So we have a second step complete. Now in the map, what we are doing that we are pushing, we are uh, first of all iterating. For all the entries present in the map, and we are adding in the priority key. At any point of time, if the number of elements or the number of entries exceeds uh, the k value in the priority queue, then we call a pq dot pull function. We have already seen in the dry run, right? To mend, uh, we have already seen the intuition as well. That why we did that thing to find the top k largest elements in the array, correct? Okay. What else? What else? Now I I told you. That to store your answer. Uh, now we have the answer in the priority queue, but in order to return the answer in the order as in the given output, then what you need to do, you need to start iterating from the right hand side to the left hand side. That's we have an index which is pointing to k minus one, and while q is not empty, q is not empty, we are just pulling out the uh, values, the entries from the priority queue, and we are getting the key value using the dot dot get key, right? So again, I am repeating. It may be a complex one. Not in terms of logic, but in terms of writing the, writing the code specifically in Java, right? So that is why sometimes I like C plus plus very much. But yes, I've kick started my journey with Java, so that is why I'm sticking it to it. Okay, let us wait for the results. Great, so that's been done. That's been submitted. So what is the time and space complexity? So here the map is sticking over n. Now we have some parallel works, right? So for each and entry, for each and every entry in the map, we are iterating. So again n. And once it exceeds the k value, the size of the particle exceeds k value, we we call a pull function, right? The pull function takes log log of the element present in the PQ. The particle has the element k at that time, right? So it would be log k. We are doing for all the n elements, n pairs or n entry in the map. So we would say n log k. So total complexity is n plus n log k, ignoring the smaller time complexities. The The final time complexity would be n log k. What is the space complexity? O of n because we are using map and a priority queue to store it. So here it is again saying n log n and n. Great. N is 10 power 5. Definitely, if you put n as 10 power 5 and uh, k as okay, so 10 power 5 log 10 power 5 definitely less than 10 power 8, and that is why a solution got submitted. Now let us switch back to the C plus plus code. C plus plus C plus plus is very easy here now. Uh, it everything which we have handled specifically in Java that is automatically handled here, right? So we have a map again. First of all, the map is required, and then the priority queue, which takes the pair, pair int comma int, and we name it as PQ, right? So auto x and PQ. What is auto? That we uh, it is not my work. This auto is ensuring that whatever be the type of uh, whatever be the database uh, data type, it is it's it's allowing the compiler to take the dynamic. Changes. मतलब वहाँ से यार खुद ही उठा रहा है हमें नहीं उठाना है right? ठीक है. PQ dot push we have x dot second and x dot first. Okay. So what is happening here is, what is happening here is. So in the map, if the key value pair can be accessed using dot first and dot second, but here what we are doing is that we are pushing the keys here. The value is here and the key is here, right? So Once we have pushed each and every element, we already know the frequency. That one has frequency three, two has frequency two, and three has frequency one. So if you push all the elements in the priority key, and if you try to print it, then what you will get is it is automatically sorted in the descending order, in the descending order of the frequency. And if the 
frequency is same it is also taking care that the key should be sorted in descending order right so for let's say you have one more two here one more two right then you will have the frequency of two as three and three as one so I'm just writing one more two here right and I'm um, uncommenting these steps and commenting these correct so let me just compile and run great as you can see three two three one and one three so it is automatically automatically handling the descending order sorting of the frequency via frequency and if the frequency is same it is sorting the keys into the descending order okay so we just have to take the advantage of these things so let me just comment it again so once that is done i need the top k largest right so we will just run a for loop for k times right and we will keep on pulling out or let's say in the c plus keep on popping out the first elements right and we'll keep on pushing it back into our answer vector so that is it so let us compile and run again what is the time and space complexity here it would be n log n because you are popping the elements or let's say the entry from the priority queue when it has all the elements when it has all the entries right so in the java it was having k at that time if it if if it exceeds the size of k then we we were pulling it out so it was log k but here the elements would be n because we are pushing each and every element right using this for loop so it would be n log n right what is the space complexity it would be o of n again for using the map and priority key and that is it yeah so again yep so that is it you will get all the source code uh, in my dsa repository you can start and fork that dsa repository to get help with the source code and let us end this video now let us meet again in the tomorrow's streak till then keep learning keep growing bye bye and take care guys